Okay, so we shall look at um, perimeter today. Perimeter. Perimeter today. Perimeter, it simply means that you are adding the surface area of an object. And so if you have, if you have a rectangle like this, if you have a rectangle like this, and then they've, they've given you as four centimeters, and then here as three centimeters, and they say find the perimeter of this. Hmm? You are told to find the perimeter of this. You just add everything around this, everything around this. And with um, with rectangles, opposite sides are equal. So if here is four, definitely here will be what? Here will be four. If here is three, definitely here will be three. Eh? So if you are told to find the perimeter, you just add everything around it. Eh? So it will be four plus three plus four plus three which will get what 14 centimeters so the perimeter of this is 14 centimeters so um if you are given if you are given uh, another question like uh, we are given something like this Something like this as a rectangle. Rectangle. And then you have here to be seven, and here to be six. And they say find the perimeter of this rectangle. Just as I said, with perimeter, opposite sides are equal. So if here is seven, the top has to be seven. If here is six, here has to be also six. So you find the perimeter. You add everything around it. So seven plus six plus seven plus six. Which you get 26 centimeters are you okay that's good <clears throat> okay now so let's look at this example let's say um in rectangle a b c d the perimeter the perimeter is 26 centimeters the length the length is 7 centimeters find find the width find the width so with this example with this example you've been given the the perimeter of the rectangle to be 26 you've been given one side of it to be seven they are telling you to find the other side and so solution so you draw your rectangle let's draw a rectangle now we've been given one side as seven centimeters we've been given one side as seven centimeters right you've been given one side as seven centimeters now we are told to find the other side so let's say the other side is x and then now we are, we've been told that the perimeter is um, 26. Just as we already know, I've told you the opposite sides are equal. So if here is 7, here will be 7. If here is x, here will be x. So perimeter, you add everything. So 7 plus x plus 7 plus x is equal to 26 because now the perimeter is 26. So 7 plus 7, 14. The x are 2, so 2x. Two equal to 26 so 2x equal to 26 minus 14 so 26 minus 14 is 12 right okay. so divided by 2 divided by 2 therefore x is what x is 6 centimeters so the width or the side the other side of the rectangle is 26 centimeters so whatever question you are giving with respect to the perimeter of a rectangle you should be able to do it that is if you know that um, opposite sides are equal mm -hmm. opposite sides are equal. so if they give you one side you should know that the other side is the same so if they give you that um, this side is seven this has to be seven if they give you that this as ten this has to be ten mm -hmm. find the perimeter you add everything around it. you add everything around it. good i believe we 
all understand now okay so now let's go to the area the area the area the area the rectangle see me giving 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 this as the rectangle if you're giving this as the rectangle with here as seven centimeters here as five centimeters i said find the area now area just as we all know it's got a length length times the what the breadth mm -hmm. so if you look at this if you look at this you said the length the length is seven the breadth is five you got 35 centimeters square you are putting square here because the centimeters are two and then we are multiplying that is why it becomes square centimeters square and so with area you take two sides two sides like this then you multiply or a perimeter you just add everything around it with area you take two sides you multiply you take two sides you multiply you take two sides you multiply hmm? yes that is area our perimeter you add everything around it you add everything around it. assuming this question and you are asked to find the eight the, um, the perimeter i've told you opposite sides are equal so if here is seven here will also be seven and then if here is five here will also be five so if you are adding seven plus five twelve nineteen twenty four so the perimeter of this is twenty four but we are not asked to find the perimeter we are asked to find the area the area and so the area you just multiply the length times the breadth the length times the breadth so seven times five which will give you 35 centimeter square 35 centimeter square okay okay now let's look at this example too the area of a rectangle in the area of a rectangle is 60 centimeters square and then if if the length if the length is 5 centimeters if the length is 5 centimeters find find the breadth find the breadth so just as we've we've learned um with a area of a rectangle let's draw our rectangle let's draw your rectangle and then you indicate one side as the length so five centimeters and so we don't know the other side so let's represent that side with x let's represent that side with x and then the area the area is equal to the length times the breadth mm. and so now the area has been given in the question as 60 as 60 now we have the length as 5 and we have the breadth we don't know so x so 5 times x is 5x is equal to 60. So we divide both sides by 5. Then x is equal to 12 centimeters. 12 centimeters. And so the length is 5, the width, the breadth is 12 centimeters. And so if you are given the area, by giving the area you can use that to find the other side of the rectangle if you are not giving the area and then they give you the two sides you just multiply the two sides and then you get the area good okay now let's take a more complex question where Where, where the perimeter, 
the perimeter of a rectangle is 26 centimeters and then if the length If the length is 7 centimeters, find the area, find the area of the rectangle. Okay, so um, with this question, you've been given the perimeter of the rectangle as 26 centimeters and then the length is 7 centimeters. And so you've been asked to find the rectangle. Um, just as you've always learned, make sure you always get your you get the two sides of the rectangle. Now we've been given one, and then we've been given a clue as to how to find the other side um, by the introduction of the perimeter in the question. And so you know that the perimeter, if you have your rectangle like this. And then we have one side to be seven. Mm -hmm. Just as you know, opposite sides are equal. And so if here is seven, this side also will be seven. Now you don't know here. So if you don't know here, opposite sides are equal. So if here is x, here will also be x. So the perimeter, you add everything around it. You add everything around the rectangle. And so seven plus x plus 7 plus x is equal to 26 and so 14 plus 2x is equal to 26 so 2x equal to 26 minus 14 so 2x equal to 12 Divide both sides by 2, so x equal to 6. So now we have the other side of the rectangle to be 6. So we can solve the question now. Say so find the area. Now we know the two sides are now 7 and 6. 7 and 6. And so with these two sides, you can find the area. Area is length times breadth. So you multiply 7 by 6. It will give you 42. So our unit of measurement is centimeters and so centimeters because we are multiplying two centimeters becomes square so 42 centimeters square so the area of the rectangle is 42 centimeters square so anytime you are giving a um, question like this make sure you find all the two sides of the rectangle which i believe when you are able to do that you can find the perimeter or the area all right so we shall move to another topic tomorrow